Good afternoon. Welcome to this week's video market report for ProFish, February 23rd, 2015. Uh, weather has obviously been a big issue over the last couple of weeks. Let's address a few species so we can uh, make plans for some alternative uh, species for the week. Rockfish, season ends on Saturday for the state of Maryland. In addition, there's four inches of ice in the bay, which will probably keep any rock from coming into the market for the remainder of the week. Uh, there'll be plenty of farm-raised striped bass as a substitute. Snapper market's looking good. Plenty of Gulf Wild grouper, tilefish, and mahi-mahi as well. The shellfish situation is just as bad or worse. Uh, clams we have not seen for days. They're still iced over as well as all local oysters. Uh, we do have a few Rappahannock River oysters and stingrays. To fill the gap, we brought in a couple West Coast species. We brought in some Marins and some Point Reyes. They're available in 120 count bags. And from Canada arriving tomorrow, we have a limited amount of St. Anne's, uh, Tatamagooch, Bradore, Glacier Bay, and South Lakes. I'd also like to mention the salmon forecast coming for the month of March. Prices are going to be on the rise, so please prepare for your menus. Uh, Chilean market will be up, and when Chilean rises, we anticipate the Canadian market to go right along with that. Um, I'd like to mention April 22nd is our annual charity event for our house charity called Charity Off the Hook. This event is on April 22nd, Earth Day, taking place at Tony and Joe's Seafood Place on the Washington Harbor from six o'clock till whenever. And we will feature some local, prominent local chefs and we're gonna pair them with some vendors and their species to create dishes on the spot in front of all guests. In addition to that, we will have a raw bar and a full smoked seafood bar. 